I am super hungry. I want to go to eat somewhere. I am hungry too. Let's go to that one cafe down the street. Alright, sounds like a plan. Let's go to the bus stop. Man oh man, I am sure as hell hungry. I know, I haven't ate all day. Wait, where's James? A scene only allows two characters in one scene in Plotagon. Yeah, living life in the Plotagon world sucks. Welcome to the Amrix Show. Produced by Aiden Cherna. Voiced by a cappella. Oh James, I am so hungry. I would eat anything in this restaurant. Have you ever had that feeling where you are so hungry that you want to eat what you do not like at all? Yes, a little bit at least. But I only stick to the stuff I actually like more than the ones I am okay with or dislike. Yeah, it's understandable. What the hell was that? Oh, it's just lightning. There's a thunderstorm today. It's not super dark outside. And when I checked the weather app, it said it's gonna be raining, not storming. Oh, that is sure in the hell strange. Why is an alarm going off? It might just be a car or something. That sounded too loud and more like a type of siren. You know what? I'll just check what's going on outside. I will go with you because I wanna see. Good going man. You crashed the travel machine and it is irreplaceable. Look, I lost control of that thing and I had to crash land it. What do you mean by crash land? It is a travel machine, not a plane. You dumbass shit. You already know I'm an experienced pilot. Also, you wanted to stop and eat potatoes. Potatoes is my religion, okay? I didn't really understand what was going on. So, those two people were sent from a different planet called Potatopia and they work for the Church of Potato. Wait? I have never heard of the planet called Potatopia. It is actually a portmanteau for Potato and Utopia. Oh, now it makes more sense. But the Potato people are usually sent here just to spy on random people to bring them back to their home. That sounds like a super creepy reason to bring extraterrestrials to Earth. Yeah, I actually know, it is super weird. So we are also here to find people to take back to our home? Shut up with that, we can't make ourselves known. So we have to pretend we are normal citizens? Why are you so dumb? Of course we have to do that. Oh, maybe we should get out of here before they catch us. Yeah, we should so I can tell you more about what they do and how they follow you. Alright, because I need to know more. Now can you tell me what their motives are? Alright so, their motives are to go find random people to give them pins just to track their locations and they can ride their travel machine around and abduct them. Honestly, that sounds like something an alien would do. I know, it is odd. But, how can they modify a button pin so heavily just to insert a microchip that can track you everywhere? I don't know either, it beats me. All we have to do is seek shelter, right? Yes, that is all we need to do to hide from the potato men. Okay, that sounds simple enough. I like it on my couch in my comfy house. Why did we have to leave so early though? Because the two guys in drench coats came here to give random people button pins just so they can spy on us and abduct us. You've been watching too much stuff about the supernatural, have you? No, I'm more of a paranormal guy. Sorry to break it to you, but they're basically the same thing. Oh my god, who the hell is it now? The only way you'll know is if you answer the door. I hope it is Girl Scout cookies. I apologize for the inconvenience, but Plotagon does not have an exterior view of the house for the free trial at least, thus we are forced to utilize text and narration. When Aiden finally gets off his lazy ass and opens the door, all he sees is the mailman approaching his porch, he was disappointed not to see a package of Girl Scout cookies. So he just takes hold of the envelope and the little Amazon Prime package that Mr. Mailman left for him, he's still upset that he forgot to get his Girl Scout cookies but he can get them later. God damn it, they couldn't even bother to bring me my Thin Mints. I'm sorry, but what are Thin Mints? Thin Mints are my favorite kind of Girl Scout cookies. But they think that I have a whole stash of them in my stove. Do you mean pantry? Also just open the packages in the envelope. You know what, fine. I hope they brought me something good. To be honest, I could just use the sound effect of someone opening a gift, but Plotagon doesn't have that either. Plotagon sucks. God damn it. Yes! I got my Girl Scout cookies. Ooh, can I have some? I never tried it. Sure, I have been waiting to get these again because I like them. Believe me, I'm not being sluggish at all. I'm just trying not to lose my cool over Plotagon's free trial. However, Aiden discovers a not so pleasant surprise when he opens the Girl Scout cookie box containing Thin Mints. Wait, what the hell is this? Those are not cookies at all, what the hell even are those? They are just button pins, that is super weird. Wait, button pins? 
Why are you scared of them? Because the potato guys modify these to track us down. Who in the hell are potato guys? Does it have a green light on the back of the pin? No, but what does the green light mean? So, the pins that potato guys give out would usually have a green light on the back of it, but if there is no green light, you are 100% safe from getting tracked down. Oh, thank lord, what a relief that these pins are safe to put on. Yes, we get to wear pins to show how cool we can be. But, I really want to get out of the house for a while, so should we go to the park? Oh yes, I would love to get some fresh air and see some nature. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Let's go to the park. Ooh. The fresh air out here is so refreshing. I know, I needed a breather, but I'm going to run around the park real quick so I will be back. Alright, I will just stay right here sitting down and relaxing. Okay, I will be back. Hello, sir. I would like to invite you on a trip to see the moon. Will you accept? Ooh. Did you say the moon? Yes, and I choose you to come with me. Yes! I would love to go. Hooray! Okay, let's go to my personal spaceship. Okay. Thanks for the invite. Okay, just get comfy right here and let's get ready to go. Wait, why is there a bunch of potatoes everywhere? What the hell was that sound? Okay, let's go to Potatopia. What? Wait one sixtieth of an hour. Why the hell are we in the airport? We were just at a park sitting on a bench not too long ago. Yeah, I need an explanation on how we even got here. Wait, did those damned potato men have something to do with this? Guys, I found them. They are down here. What are they doing? Finally, you did a mission correctly without screwing it up like always. Hey. I can do a mission without screwing it up. I am not stupid like you think I am. How dare you talk back to me? Sorry, I just get offended so easily. Where the hell are they? Because I am gonna chase them down and knock him the hell out. How about you calm your mad ass down and let us see what they do next? Now they are walking off somewhere. Where are they going now? I am so hungry. Is there a restaurant in the airport? You live in this city. You should know by now. But I know where it is. Follow me. I need to eat some potatoes. So, they are walking off to a restaurant now. I didn't even know airports had restaurants. Those stupid kidnappers can't get away from us that easily. Hey, get your ass back here right now. Here we go again, everyone. Oh my god, this is such a long line just for some simple potatoes. There is no line. I keep trying to tell you that the restaurant is on the other side of the damn building but all you want to do is rest. I have to control the spacecraft all the way from Earth. You only abducted three people, so get your lazy ass up and let's walk to the restaurant. Bug. Fine. Let's go. That's a good listener, champ. I'm tired. I need some potatoes. Where is that stupid abductor? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How dare you run away from me out of spite? Well damn, I'm trying to find the potato guys so I can find a way to get the hell out of this goddamn planet. Well, let's pray that there actually is a way to escape. What the hell are you even talking about? I know there is a way out of here. I can feel it calling my name. Hey fella, hey fella, hey fella, hey fella, what is wrong with being on this planet? Well... I don't like it here because I have been abducted to be here and if you have a problem with it then you can screw off. Come on, feller, just give some time to explore this planet. I've been abducted before all three of you and I like it here because I explored this planet. Do I look like I give a damn about what you say? Yes, you do. No, I don't. I am trying to find the guys who abducted me so I can jump them but they keep escaping from my wrath and it is pissing me off. Don't knock it till you try it. Fella, you will stay here for the rest of your life because there is no escape. You will live here and you won't like it. Shut up. Aiden is right. Living life on this goddamn planet is a living hell. And we are trying to find a way to escape because there is one. There must be. I refuse to give this screwed up planet one chance. All right. I'm done. It's just way too hard to argue with you. Keep me out of your situation. 
We never asked you to help us anyway. All this running back and forth and this mixture of rage, sleepiness, depression and fear is making me really hungry. You know what? I am hungry too. Let's find the restaurant in the airport. I think it is somewhere over here. All right. Let's go and eat some food. Wait for me. Finally, my long-awaited break is here. I needed this. We all needed this. We get the time to eat and not hunt people down. Wait, the potato guys are here, and how are they eating steak if they only like potatoes? Their steak is actually made out of potatoes, so they are still eating their potatoes. Wow, can I ask them if I can leave now? They do not like being bothered when they eat their potatoes. So, I can ask them when they finish their food and leave? Do you really think they will accept your offer to leave the planet back to Earth? I really hope so. I am so homesick. I am full off the food. Okay, let's go then. Um, where's James? I seen him at the airport earlier with his other friends. I seen him earlier too, also at the airport with his other friends. Wait, what's going on? Hello, everyone. Hi James, where have you been all day? I have been helping my other friend try to escape the screwed up planet. We need help escaping as well. Can you help us too? I need to ask you a question about something. Okay, what's your question? So, how do you get out of this planet? What do you mean by that? How does a human being like me return back to my homeland, planet Earth? It's actually simple. You need to go on our spaceship and drive at the speed of light back to your homeland since it is very far away. What are you, stupid? That was top secret information you spilled out to him. Now we are in big trouble. Wow, that was very easy. I know, right? Now we get to go back to Earth. Goodbye. Planet Potato. Bye, I guess. Let's take you back home to Earth. Oh my god, he is so stupid. I never liked him anyway. Aiden was about ready to punch someone. That's how much he wanted to go home. Sounds like me on a 10 hour car drive. We get to go back home now, he said yes. I have to go, so I will talk to you guys again soon. Catch you on the flip side. See you sooner or later. Thanks for dropping us off. You're welcome. Have a nice day, sir. Finally, we're back home. I am shocked that the guy was stupid enough to let us go home. I know. With that potato man and his stupidity, it will work like a charm. No, why am I back here? I like that in Potatopia. Maybe you should move out, so you can live happily ever after in Potatopia. Potato Man. Produced by Aiden Cherna. Voiced by Acapella, Oddcast, and Read Loud. Aiden and Potato Man I, Rod. James, Gordon. Kevin, Arthur. JTO and Potato Man 2, Aaron. Potatopia Aiden, Joey Jr., and Potato Man I, Joey. Potatopia James, Eric. Potatopia Kevin, Paul. Potatopia JTO and Potato Man 2, David. Joey Sr., Matthew. Joanna, Joanna. Justin, Justin. Copyright 2024.